Hello, everyone. Hello. Look who's here. It's me, Cecily. Yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Cecily has been telling me for a while that she needed a haircut. So we're finally going to cut it, and I thought it would be really fun to do it on camera so that we could talk about curly hair. I figure that you would have some really helpful t tips for everyone. Uh, hopefully, and hopefully you will have some helpful tips for me too. <laughs> yes, of course. A lot of you who have curly hair have requested a video like this, just needing a little bit of help, some tips, so hopefully you can find this helpful, and we're going to cut Cecily's hair, which will be fun, all wrapped into one video. Yay, wrapped up. You ready? Yes, Okay, I think let's so. do it. <laughs> okay, so we're just getting ready to cut Cecily's hair, and like I said before, we're going to be giving you some tips that have worked for us personally. I know everyone kind of has their own personal opinion about hair and things that work, so these are just things that have worked for us. I'm going, I'm going to be cutting her hair and telling you these things, but first, I guess, you should tell me how you want your hair cut. Okay, um, so I think I don't want to lose that much length, Okay. But the ends are pretty unhealthy. So the medium point between those two things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I would like to have maybe a few pieces that are a little shorter around my face. Okay. So, but so that I can still have this sort of 40s look. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to look edgy. I want it to look more like romantic. Soft. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. What okay. about back through here? Do you want any more layers? What do you think? I think that we should take off, I mean, I, it looks like you have layers through here, so I think if we just take some ends off and we can do those layers really, really soft as well so that they all blend in really well. Okay. And just blend that all in and freshen it all up and get it looking so pretty. Yay. When was the last time you had a haircut? Like 10 years ago. Is that really? Yeah. Mm, I have like a small phobia of getting my hair cut. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that you trust me. <laughs> I do. So I, I don't, usually I feel like psychotically nervous where my face is gray when I'm getting it cut, but I don't feel that way right now. So what are your fears when you're getting your hair cut? I'm gonna start, just start. I've had a lot of haircuts where the person cuts my hair and they cut it, cut way more than I've asked them mm -hmm. to cut. That's probably all. Also when I was like five, I went to get a haircut and the hairdresser thought that I was a boy and he chopped off all of my hair. What? So that's probably where it just comes from. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. It's That's funny, <laughs> my, everyone knew that my mom had one son and two daughters, and my brother had long, wispy, curly hair, so they always thought that I was the son. <laughs> <laughs> you always have the best stories. <laughs> <laughs> I embrace my androgyny. <laughs> okay, something that I really like to do with curly hair is cut it dry and straight. Sometimes when it is curly, it can shrink up, and then when you dry it, it can be uneven, so I like to just start from it all being straight and dry, so it can be one length. Just the right length, you know. So once you cut it, it should be healthier and grow faster, right? Right, yes. Because I think that I've been having, it's sort of this length just because it's been breaking off at the ends. Right, that's the reason that if you cut your hair regularly, the reason that it will grow faster because it just won't break off on the end. So what are your recommendations for curly hair? Well, I really recommend using good products on your hair. Some shampoo and conditioner that I really, really like for curly hair is Enjoy. Oh, I've never heard of that. Yeah, it, I hadn't heard of it until a couple of years ago, but I really love it. It's sulfate free, mm -hmm. so that is helpful. And Joy also has a couple of products that I love, and one is a leave-in conditioner. Mm -hmm. I have a good friend that was my client back in Utah, and she had really curly hair, a lot like yours. Mm -hmm. Maybe even the curl might have been a little tighter. Wow. And we would use the leave-in conditioner, and her hair would just straighten so much better after. Mm. And they also have another product that is called Straightener that works really, really well too. So I like both of those products a lot. You'll have to try it. Yeah, they're really good. Also, a good oil is so, so important. I can't stress how important a good oil is. It's going to smooth out your hair. It's going to protect it. It's going to replace a lot of the oils that we lose naturally. Mm -hmm. So a good oil is great. Also, something that is so important, if you want to straighten your hair and it is curly, I really recommend round brushing your hair. Oh. So, and, and doing that in layers. So you're gonna start at the bottom and round brush your hair in layers, because that is gonna smooth out those, those curls so that you're not having to go over them and over them and over them with a flat iron. Oh. 
that's what I recommend. Also, when your hair is damp, to stretch it out on a Velcro roller, a, huh. bi a big wide one, and uh, let it dry on there because then it's going to form to that. So that can also be really helpful. That's so interesting. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, and if you're wanting a cur like a curled look, mm -hmm. you could do like pin curl or not pin curls. Is that what they're called? Yeah, the, like the ones barrel, that you roll up with a pin. Barrel rolls, yeah. And then you just pin those and they can dry that way if you don't have curlers. But I really recommend the big Velcro rollers. I once got a perm that way because I've always had natural curl and I've always, um, I've always had perms on top of that and when I was little I wanted my hair straight. So my hairdresser um, put my hair in those Velcro rollers and gave me a perm and it actually straightened my hair. Huh. And it was really nice because it adds a little bit more volume. So if you're wanting to do something like that, you can talk to your hairstylist about that and see what they think. But it really worked for my hair. It took all of the tight curly perm out and just left it. So there are a lot of different um, keratin straightening treatments that you can get done. The one that I like is the keratin complex. Mm -hmm. And they'll put that on your hair and use a really, really hot flat iron and straighten your hair. Is that the one that you did? Yeah. And, but yeah, you need to make sure, just like with I a want, perm, I right? It's just like with a perm, you can't wash your hair for three days. Right. So what are some things that you have found helpful? I have the, I got this argan oil shampoo, conditioner, and oil mm -hmm. from Sally's. Uh -huh. And those have worked really nicely, probably better than anything else I've used so far. Um, they just make my hair much smoother and it makes it feel a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. which my hair is very, like, fine. You would think that it's not because it's so curly, but it's, it is very fine and light, so it sort of flies around. Mm -hmm. So I like when it gets a little heavier, then it looks shinier and prettier, I think. That's true, I'm surprised, because a, um, a lot of girls with curly hair, it's kind of more coarse. Yeah. And your hair is so soft. Thanks, interesting. Yeah, it's unusual. So Another thing I really recommend doing when your hair is curly is straightening it in layers. That's so important. You don't want to take big sections of hair because it's not going to get straight. That's true, for sure. And everyone sections their hair off differently. I remember watching you one day and you layer opposite, or you section off opposite of me. Don't oh. you start up here? I used to, but I think that after watching one of your videos, I started doing it from the bottom first. Really? Because it makes more sense. Then you don't have dry hair lying on wet hair. Um, so now I do a ponytail at the top and I do the bottom and then I do another layer on top. Mm -hmm. So it's probably four layers. First with the blow dryer and then I do that. Um, then I usually just use a curling iron instead of a flat iron. Yeah. This is just from Revlon. You go like, you put your hair inside of it and then you go whoosh, mm -hmm. and then you put the blow dryer on top of the slats. Oh, that's such a good idea. And it has metal inside which gets hot. So it makes your hair much smoother than just with a brush. That, but I've never tried it with a round brush, mm -hmm. so I don't know if that's better. Where did you get it? I think I just got it at Rite Aid. It's, okay. it's a Revlon thing. It might have been from Sally's, I'm not sure. I'm sure that you could find some, some type of comb like that anywhere. Mm -hmm. what, oh, so besides uh, shampoo and conditioner and argan oil, what? Are there any other products that have helped? Well, if, if I'm wearing it curly that day, I like to, instead of using like gel or hairspray or anything, I just use my conditioner as a styling product. Mm -hmm. Because I've read this somewhere that curly hair is more porous than straight hair. Mm -hmm. So if you fill it up with moisturizing things, it looks smoother. And, and most gels and mousses have alcohol in them, so that makes it drier, mm -hmm. which isn't helpful to curly hair. So anything moisturizing to make your curl smoother, that's usually, I just use conditioner. Right, that's why I think, that's why I loved that leave-in conditioner and mm -hmm. why my friend liked that leave-in conditioner, because I think that it did all of that, but it doesn't make it too heavy or too oily if you try a leave-in conditioner. Right. We should get you that and see if you like it. I wanna try it. Something else that I really like for styling and straightening curly hair is this vapor gel. This is going to add some protection and also it has a nice hold. So mm. I really, really like that too. It's just this. I actually like that for all different types of hair. It's a good one. 
All right. We'll finish up this side and then you'll have a new hairstyle. Call me Harvey Dent. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing I want to mention about straightening your hair if it's curly is to have a good quality straightener. That's going to make a huge difference just because it gets your hair straighter with one, you know, going over just one time rather than going going over it over and over again. So a good quality straightener is important. It's a good investment. Yeah, I really like this. It's a Chi. I've been really happy with, with this brand. Also, GHD is really good. There are a lot of really good straighteners, so it's good to talk to like your stylist or someone you trust that won't just want you to buy an expensive flat iron for no reason. Right. And it is a big investment, but if it lasts long and if you take really good care of it, it's definitely worth it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about like leaving your hair curly. I love to see a girl with curly hair just rocking her curls because they're so beautiful. Are there any products that you like to use? I just use the same conditioner that I use and I finger curl. So once I get out of the shower, I put, I rinse out the conditioner that I've used in the shower and then I put in like a, like the little, what would that size be? Like a, a marshmallow's dollop. worth? <laughs> yeah, a dollop in my hand and then put it through my hair. And then while it's still wet like that, I take the sections and then I curl the, the curl with my finger and then they're not as frizzy and random. They're like mm. more ordered. Mm -hmm. I think it looks better. There are also styling creams. Mm -hmm. that I, have you ever tried styling creams? I actually haven't. That I have noticed help a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you're wanting to go really curly, do you ever use a diffuser? No, I've never tried that. I, when I had a perm uh -huh. all growing up, I always used a diffuser and I loved it because it would just give your curls like all this volume and they were so big and I loved flipping my hair over and using the diffuser. And the, it doesn't make it look afro-y? I mean probably if your hair is more naturally curly but I am a big big fan of big curly hair. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So I guess depending on the look you're wanting. Right. I should try that. And I always would use a gel. Mm -hmm. So and then it's going to get a, bit, a little bit more of a crisp. Which I don't know as if that's still in style or not. <laughs> crispy? Crispy. Crispy creams? Crispy curly hair. <laughs> um, I don't like mine to look crispy. I like it to look soft. Right. Another thing that I read this book called Curly Girls. And if you have curly hair, I recommend reading it. It sort of explains the science of why curly hair is different than straight hair. And they recommend that you... They actually recommend that you never ever shampoo your hair because apparently curly hair is like a sponge where it sucks in everything that you put on it. So if you put like, and most shampoo has like stripping ingredients in it. So if you put it in your hair, then your hair is drinking it almost and it makes it more damaged. I couldn't go as far as not ever shampooing it again, but I don't shampoo it very often. Normally, if I get in the shower, I just condition it and I rinse, I massage my scalp with the conditioner and then I shampoo it like once a week. And that makes it, it does make it healthier. Mm -hmm. That's why I really like the sulfate free shampoo for, mm -hmm. for curly hair too. It's a good alternative if you want to shampoo your hair every once in a while, but that's so good to know. So I'm cutting your layers here in the front. How short do you think that you want to go with those? I kind of want a couple of pieces that go right under there, so it looks like you're giving me cheekbones. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. I would like you to give me cheekbones, please. You have great cheekbones, but we'll just, <laughs> we'll just accentuate those a little. Okay, you ready to see it? Yes. All right. Oh my gosh. I look so sophisticated. This is, I like it a lot. It's really pretty. And I don't feel like anxiety about it looking too much shorter. Okay. It doesn't. We didn't have to take off very much, which is really surprising. I, d I don't recommend. But it looks so much healthier now. Yeah. But just taking off those little ends really like makes it look thicker and sometimes can make it look longer, which is weird. But those, like some of those little straggly ends just don't add to your hair. So you can just cut them right off. Nice. I love. 
Yay! I'm so excited and happy. Get so Kaylee funny. to cut your hair if you can. Yeah, everyone can make appointments down below. <laughs> down below. All right, so that is it. We're actually thinking about coloring Cecily's hair too. So if we do, we'll make a vlog of that. She's thinking about going a little lighter. Nice. Which will be so beautiful. I'm excited. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found some of our tips helpful. I and found your tips helpful. I found your tips helpful too. So I love that you guys always help each other out in my comments. I've really noticed that, that if someone has something that they like to use, you guys always leave them down in the comments and I love that so much. So thank you. Please do that if you have any helpful tips. And yeah. thank you so much for being here. Of course. It's so fun. It's so fun to have you here. Yay, I love you. We're gonna start doing hair every day. I want you to do my hair every day. That would be amazing. I would love <laughs> to. That would be like my dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks Bye. for watching. Mwah.